yat pinda tak brahmande meaning that whatever is in the microcosm is also in the macrocosm. If we were to go deeper, we would understand that our body is closely connected to the external environment, it all has a deeper impact on us than what we normally comprehend. The Nakshatravanam, founded at the entrance of the Art of Living International Center, Bengaluru, corresponds to this very theory, the garden resonates with the footfall of hundreds of visitors every day. Within this enchanting grove are housed 27 trees that correspond to the 27 nakshatras, stars. Not only is the flora here rare, but it also helps up one's health quotient. The Vanam came into existence at the insistence of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar with the idea derived from the book, Bruksha Ayurveda, Sri Sri College of Ayurvedic Science and Research Hospital, SCIS, and the Department of Drivyaguna took up the task of setting up a garden, while the planetary position verification was done with the help of the astrology team of the Vedic Dharma Sanstan. The Vanam could be said to be the storehouse of health as sitting and meditating under a particular tree in line with one's nakshatra, impacts positively on a person's mind and body. Ayurveda classics say that going near different trees will have different impact on the body. For example, sitting under the tree of Terminale Chubula will induce purgative action in the body. Similarly sitting under some other trees will act differently on the human body due to their cosmic energy. Says Dr. Mahesh, who is part of SCIS, he adds that early morning is preferably the best time for meditation as the ozone layer is clear along with the beginning of photosynthesis. However, time is not a constraint to meditation, he reiterates. Most of the temples in the past housed sacred groves within their precincts, and the Nakshatravanam takes a leaf probably from this practice. Says Mahesh, trees found around the temples like people, Bilva, Neem, Tulsi are found to control the microbial activity and keep the air pure. Similar plants are also found in the Nakshatravanam. The garden promotes a sense of well-being and health. People who regularly visit the Nakshatravanam have experienced a sense of healing. An in-house study is being done on this, but it is yet to be completed. However, a study conducted by Dr. Rachar Shah and Dr. R. S. Patel on study of various plant species useful in each nakshatra for human society published in International Journal of Scientific Research on January 1, 2014, has shown documented proof of effective plants on the human body, says Mahesh, patients admitted at the Skustak rounds here to expedite their healing, he adds. There's a reason for sacred trees being grown near temples or in public places, he explains, trees like bilva, kadam, mango, neem, etc. need a large space to grow, so it will be difficult to grow in one's home. Tulsi is the one sacred plant which can be grown in a pot in one's home. There are also plans to sell medicinal plants at the Art of Living Center soon. Let's block ads. Why?